Ali Root is live in London with the latest on what we've learned about him. Ali, what can you tell us? Chilling details have been released today. We know oh. that. Yes, that's right. Chilling details have been released through a new affidavit um, about the plan that Joseph Couch crafted prior to the shooting. According to the affidavit, a woman named Sarah Mills reached out to police before the incident, saying Couch told her about his plan. The document says Couch sent Mills text messages stating that he was, quote, going to kill a lot of people and that he planned to kill himself afterwards. Court documents show that Couch and Mills share a child. The affidavit it also tells us that Couch purchased an AR-15 style rifle with a thousand rounds of ammunition just hours before the incident. Officials say the gun was legally purchased. Law enforcement officials say multiple agencies are continuing search efforts in a very remote area near exit 49 where the incident happened. They say it's very difficult to sift through due to how dense the area is. One trooper even comparing it to a jungle. They say it would be in Couch's best interest to surrender. We'll search uh, until we can find him, until we exalt all resources, and uh, uh, it, it, the, the, we're not going to quit. Uh, we definitely want to, you know, lay hands on him and bring him to justice. Law enforcement officials say there's still a lot of questions about where Couch is or if he's even still alive. And Allie, each night the search stops at dark out of safety concerns for the search crews. What happens if Joseph Couch moves at night? Well, Andrea, that's something that the that law enforcement has been actively working on. They have loaded all of Couch's information into a database so that agencies across multiple states are able to identify him if he turns up somewhere else. And we also have to wonder about his resources and how long he's going to be able to hold out if he's out there in the woods. Uh, Ali, how significant are the search efforts going into a fourth day? Well, Marvin, the search effort is certainly significant right, right now. We have multiple agencies that are working on this, not only here locally with the Laurel County Sheriff's Office and Kentucky State Police, but also with the FBI and U.S. Marshals that are also involved. And crews have collected several pieces of evidence already that is helping them lead, that is helping lead them towards Couch. And that's why they say communication is really critical at this time. They're asking community members to come forward with any tips they may have so that way they are able to locate couch at the end of all of this. Thank you, Allie Root there live tonight in London.